a new season, a new sport, but hopefully the same outcome. Well, that's exactly what the Elmira Express boys basketball team was looking for. This past fall, Express football dominated Little Red, and now on the hardwood, Elmira was hoping to do the same. Picking up the action in the first half, and cheerleaders ready for a showdown. Elmira hosting Ithaca, Tyler Moffrey with the pump fake, then the pass, and Elmira's Alex Bellardini pulls it off later. Calvin Blish coming in strong. The Express dominating in the first, then the junior. Moffrey again, he had a team high 25 points, and Elmira seals the deal as they hang on to beat Little Red 74-71. Corning boys at Horseheads, Blue Raider coach Jeff Lemoncelli pumping up the boys, but Corning looking good early second quarter. The Hawks, Chris Rowe from downtown. He drains it. Hawks in control. But here come the Blue Raiders, Jake Sturmer, domination. He hits it from just inside the arc. Horseheads ties the game at 22. Then Sturmer making it happen again. He fakes out Devin Sullivan running in like the gazelle there and drills it. Horseheads playing scrappy and take advantage as they went out 58-43. And senior Jacob Sturmer with 17 points on the night. In out-of-town scores, Tioga falls hard to Waverly 69-31, and the Crusaders keep their undefeated record intact. Darius Garvin put in 24 points, 22 of those in the first half, as Notre Dame beats Newark Valley 74-37. To the Lady Blue Raiders traveling to Painted Post, the band getting into that festive spirit beginning in the game. And Amanda Sheefen all over the Blue Raiders with the hot start. Later, Ellie Lessig, she gets the three to go. And Horseheads just heating up. But Corning not done yet as sophomore Olivia LeBaron from behind the arc. The Hawks unable to slow down the Blue Raiders as Schiefer. Schiefen yet again under the basket. Those two of her 10 points. She gets it done and so does Horseheads as the Blue Raiders top the Hawks 62-28. The Notre Dame Crusaders hosting Newark Valley. The crowd ready for some action. The boys beating out the Cardinals. Could the girls do the same? Well, they would try. Sheridan Heine with the miss, but Crusader Meg O'Dell. Look at the teamwork. Crusaders up early. Then Notre Dame's Meg Herrick from deep, and it's good. And Herrick can't stop, won't stop. The senior sprinting in the pass, and Mary Foster nets it. The Lady Crusaders roll the Cardinals 52-29. In other girls' scores, the Sayre Redskins continue their streak as they topple Williamson 46-26, and the Trojans get it done as they take it 57-23 over Ken. To, to college hoops we go. Syracuse hosting High Point. This Orange sit at 10-0, but High Point giving SU a run for their money. And Anthony Lindauer knocks down the big three. The Panthers take the lead for the first time all game. But Syracuse responds as Tyler Ennis drives into the lane for the layup. And that is not all for him. Ennis staying alert. He steals the inbounded ball. Great effort from the freshman. The Orange starting to pull away. And Trevor Cooney gets the pass in the corner and knocks down the three. But the highlight of the night by far, C.J. Fair. He's going to start driving in the power. I'm telling you, it's the power of the sweatband. He gets the one-handed slam. And Q slams high point 75-54. The Orange still undefeated.